It's The Real News, I'm Ben Norton. We at The Real News here are joined by Ariel Gold. Ariel is the national co-director of Code Pink, and she also leads the Palestine campaigns at Code Pink. This is a women-led peace group that is one of the leading voices in the anti-war movement in the US. Thanks for joining us, Ariel. Thanks so much for having me. So Ariel, I wanna begin talking a bit about your personal activism. Um, you've been arrested and detained multiple times in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. You, were, uh, you protested at the Western Wall. You also have been arrested in Berlin and Palestine. Can you talk about what motivates you personally to put your body on the line? Sure. So my family uh, dates back to Zionism from the early 1900s. We established one of the early chapters of the Zionist Organization of America uh, back around 1920-ish, uh, far before Zionism was popular. and. As I became aware of my personal history and what was happening there on the ground, um, I found myself feeling compelled to, to take action in any ways that I can um, to make a change on the ground and express that uh, the actions of the State of Israel uh, do not represent my values as an American Jew. Um, and so upon traveling there, I've carried out a number of actions. And some of them I've been, I, I was really surprised at the time by the response of the Israeli state, which professes to be the only democracy in the Middle East, and yet um, was extremely repressive around uh, my rights to free speech. Yeah, and let's talk more about that. You've effectively been banned from Israel-Palestine, as have many critics of Israel, including many Jewish American critics. Um, Chomsky and others, the Knesset passed a bill that bans anyone who supports the boycott, divestment, sanctions movement, that's BDS. It's an international campaign to pressure the Israeli government to respect Palestinian human rights under international law and provide the right of return, et cetera. Um, yeah, and, and you're involved in other groups that have been blacklisted by the Israeli government. You're an organizer with Jewish Voice for Peace and also If Not Now. Um, what's interesting is while politicians are still clinging on to this very extreme right-wing view of the Israel-Palestine conflict, um, in which you can't even acknowledge Palestinian human rights in any way, or you're you know, smeared and silenced, while that's happening at the same time, at the grassroots level, there has been a massive upswell, particularly in the Jewish American community, where you have groups like JVP, which is one of the fastest growing Jewish American groups, that are supporting BDS and are supporting activism on behalf of Palestinian human rights, can you talk about the shift going on at the grassroots and organizations like JVP and If Not Now? Well, Jewish Americans are waking up to the reality that we have been taught that Israel was created as a, a, a land uh, without people for a people with no land. And frankly, that was an outright lie. Uh, Jewish Americans, and I'm a Jewish mother myself, I'm a mother to two children, Jewish community raises our children to think that Palestinians didn't exist in the first place and never to speak about the occupation. And what happens is as we grow up and we learn what's happening, we learn that Palestinians are being uh, killed on the ground, that um, between 500 and 700 Palestinian children are arrested and detained and physically abused each year. Uh, we become very disillusioned with the state of Israel. And so there's this growing rift between American or diaspora Jews and Israeli Jews. And it's becoming a, a more and more um, alienating relationship. Um, and it's something that Israel is, and frankly should be concerned about. Um, it's really shining a light on, on the lie that Israel speaks for Jews worldwide.